हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी हैव दिव्य विद अस हु विल बी जॉइनिंग आई एम अहमदाबाद इन फैक्ट हु हैज जॉइंड आई एम अहमदाबाद एंड इज इन कॉलेज राइट नाउ सो कांग्रेट्स दिव्य ऑन कन्वर्टिंग आई एम अहमदाबाद थैंक यू सर थैंक्स अ लॉट एंड हाउ आर यू फीलिंग राइट नाउ बीइंग इन वन ऑफ द बेस्ट कॉलेजेस इन इंडिया इट्स इट्स एन एक्साइटिंग एक्सपीरियंस राइट राइट so uh, this as i told you this uh, interview is basically to guide the current aspirants who will be preparing for cat writing the cat this year so uh, tell us about uh, your cat prep journey when did you actually start your preparation and how did you start so sir uh, my cat prep journey was quite con- unconventional in the sense that i was not really sure if i was going to write cat and i had only mm-hmm. filled uh, the form of one management entrance examination so i just appeared in cat and cat alone uh, i did not appear in any of those other examinations that happened in fact to be okay. uh, very very honest with you i did not know of other examinations uh, when i was appearing in cat so it was only okay. later when i started uh, knowing more about cat and after giving cat that was i got to know that there were so many other examinations that i have missed out on however mm-hmm. uh, so cat was um i would say that i got serious about cat somewhere around a month before cat exam so it was in november when i started writing more on a daily basis uh before okay. that i was not really keen on joining an mba college so i was just writing cat for the sake of it just to score a good percentile and use it since i was already into the t- teaching arena i probably thought that i might start uh, teaching some of the cat subjects as well and for that i'll have to have the legitimacy of a good cat score but uh, right here i am in mba college <laughs> <laughs> so you never know what uh, future has store for you right yes, yes so uh, what did you do in your graduation sir i am a lawyer uh, i am a lawyer from national law okay. bangalore nlu bangalore okay yes and when did you graduate so i graduated in 2021 21 so you are working after that Yes, so I joined Anacad. Anacad. I was uh, teaching CAT aspirants at Anacad for the last two. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So yeah. you are into the teaching segment, right? Okay. So the uh, way uh, if we talk about uh, the sections, the three, three sections which uh, the CAT mm-hmm. has, which was your weakest section? Sir, my weakest section was quant. Uh, being a non-engineer, a person who was unfamiliar for uh, with maths, I had only maths till class tenth level. so right. i did not do it in plus 2 uh, neither did we have uh, any math in our undergraduate degree so i had very little right. exposure to it and the kind of concept that uh, cat demanded i had absolutely no idea about so even okay. in cat uh, when i went there my only objective was to ensure that i get the minimum percentile required to qualify for the interviews of the ia i was not really uh, ha- i was not really expecting a very good percentile in uh, quant section so yeah that was my biggest okay okay and uh, so how did you overcome that you must have scored well in uh, quant right so what did you, did you do to overcome that challenge so sir um, not uh, not significantly was i able to overcome it uh, my percentile was uh, quite average 94.29 or something in so what okay. i did was i realized that in 22 questions there are a few questions that i am able to do there are some question uh, concept that i know i am fairly quick with calculations so okay. although there is a calculator in the cat exam and that uh, negates the advantage that i had over the other aspirants so what i did was my strategy was that whenever i'll start with the math section and that is something that i figured in the last 3 days i'll look at all the 22 questions that are there and mark okay. all the that i can do so i'll take first 3 minutes of my 40 okay. minutes marking all those questions the concepts which i was familiar with and which seem doable the idea was to take out or expect 12 such questions from the second mm-hmm. right or 11 such questions mm-hmm. if i did correctly i was able to uh, zero down on to the 10 questions that i was able uh, that i was going to okay i ended up doing seven correctly one incorrectly uh and that's how i got a uh, 20 a score of absolute 20 out of whatever was statistics and that's how i barely managed to cross the required percentile okay okay nice nice and uh, uh, so qa was taken care of and varc was your strength yes sir varc was my strength i scored a 99.95 percentile 
and that's uh, with the fact that I was not able to see four or five questions. Okay, okay, great, great. So uh, uh, this was about the first stage. Talking about the second stage, how did you prepare for GDPI? So sir, uh, for GDPI, um, I divided my preparation into uh, so I created a sheet and I divided the kind of questions that can come. So there were questions mm-hmm. on uh, tell us something about yourself. So these were uh, these HR questions where I had my okay. introduction. Strength, weakness, uh, interesting situations in life. Prepared for the second uh, portion was why MBA. So why uh, MBA after law? Why MBA after a uh, career in teaching? Why teaching after law? Such questions. Uh, with basically explain my career trajectory and uh, uh, questions from my uh, undergraduate. Portion. So I just checked my mark sheet and uh, checked all the subjects that. Uh, I had in my undergraduate courses, and I prepared some uh, introductory uh, concepts about them. And the last was about uh, my work age. So I was working at a startup. So question from social media, okay. These are the most things that I created my sheet in. And then I started reading a lot of interview transcripts and started understanding the kind of questions that can come. And mentally, every time I was reading an interview transcript, I was answering those questions. So that's how my preparation journey started. And I signed up for a lot of courses on interview preparation. And uh, my basic objective was to give as many mock interviews as I can. Even in that, right. that's what I, did. I gave a lot of mock uh, clats. Oh, sorry, mock cats. And I tend to speak cat and clat a lot because I was a clat. Right. Teacher. Obviously. So it mixes Obviously. a lot. In, uh, right. And then yes, I ended up giving interviews to a lot many people. So everywhere okay. I saw the interview preparation program, I just signed up. Okay, okay. So how did MindWorks help you in your GDPI preparation? Uh, so sir, I uh, gave my interviews to Manakshi Ma'am, and those interviews were great. So yeah, so there those were very interesting interviews, and the feedback I received was good. So okay. that's, that's, that's helpful. Important. Yeah. Right. Right. So, uh, Deva, since you are in college, I won't take much of your time. But uh, one last question which I would want to ask you is, uh, what will be your advice to the current aspirants? What uh, two or three things they should uh, always ensure that they are doing to get a good percentile and get a good college? Uh, sir, first would be to uh, if we divide our CAT preparation in two parts. That is, one is the paper part and the other is the GDPI part, and both of them are equally. Um, useful and equally important in converting their uh, IIM or any college that they are aspiring for. The right. first thing would be that give as many mocks as you can. There is no right time to give the mock. Uh, so never wait for you to complete your syllabus. A lot of people will tell you that, but you will never end up completing your syllabus. So even if you were giving your first mock from the day one itself, uh, just don't get demotivated by the score that you're getting, but keep giving mocks is what I believed in and what I ended up doing. Second, uh, when it comes to GDPI round, uh, give as many mock interviews. So the more you practice uh, the thing, the better you will get. And keep, keep taking the feedbacks from your mentor, from your senior, seriously work on them. And always know that there are people who know more than that uh, you do. So giving mock interviews and taking their feedback seriously helps. Okay, so basically mock test and mock interview. Two yes, uh, important th- uh, things if they do, they will definitely uh, score well. Right. So uh, thank you, Dev. Thank you for the sharing your uh, insights, sharing your experience with the current aspirants, and I'm sure it will be very helpful to them. Uh, thanks again for sparing time, and we wish you all the best in uh, college. Uh, feel you. free thank to connect with us in case you have any queries. Feel free to connect. All the best. Thank you. Thank you.